here's what bothers me about Chrissy Teigen. Like last night, she tweets out that like, um, you know, she's like, why is it that whenever I say things, you people are always like jumping down my throat. I'm just trying to make people happy, if not like have a feeling of indifference. And it's like because you do too fucking much. You just like flaunt your wealth in front in front of people that are like broke and starving and dying, and you wonder around. why people don't like you. I can't figure out if she's a shame pig or not because part of me thinks she she's is. a shame, yeah. shame pig, but she seems too genuinely hurt by it. Like some shame pigs, I've, I feel like to be a true shame pig, you have to low key kind of uh, like it. And she seems truly tortured. Like, I think she's just that incompetent at being liked. Like, what's, what's that mean? No, oh, she no. is. She, okay, so T, here's the thing. And this is, oh, this oh, is actually. Let's explain to Vita yeah. first what a shame pig is. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, she wants to the shame pig is. A shame pig is, okay, see, Vina is still too normal. She hasn't delved <laughs> into the deeper delves of um, the internet the way we have. So, and this is a great time for you to help explain this. Because um, I was saying to uh, Vita, yo, there's a lot of simp energy in the chat for you because you know whenever you come on you people just are like you know take my money please you know and she was like <laughs> and she said which is and her rationale was true in the normal world she was like what you're saying is wrong because now you've associated simping with giving me money and now people are going to be embarrassed to donate and i said rita it's a bold new world simping is a proud identity people are Fine with simping, like it's it's they've reclaimed it. You know, you know how we're supposed to reclaim the N word and take away its thing. It never happened, but low key it happened with simp and Twitch. I was telling you, Twitch has a whole culture built around it to the point that it's now a slur to use it. You, they've uh, people have so identified with it that they take offense if you use it negatively, and now it's like a it's in the terms of service now, right? It's that, a banned word on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, it's a banned word on. Actually, we might be in trouble ourselves now. I, I, I didn't even realize that. Well, that's probably the real problem of me you saying. You have to call that. somebody that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you have to call someone that. Yeah. So we're talking I about. Think so, yeah. Yeah, and the pay pig culture is part of that. Like, there's these people where it's like, it's called financial domination. So picture like BDSM, but with money. I humiliate you and talk bad to you, and. You give me money. And I have like friends, I know girls who have um, done this as a side hustle. So it's a kind of sex work, but they don't even have sex or show skin. They just, you know, uh, well, not any more skin than any regular thirst trap, but they'll be like, um, pay up, you pigs. You know, uh, how much money did you make today? Hey, you cubicle, <laughs> you cubicle cuck, you know, g give me some money. And people <laughs> give them a bunch, a bunch of money. They'll be like, uh, yeah, you, you know, it's like, Wow, you had a hard day at work. Uh, eight hours, and it's all going to me. It's not even that much anyway. You cubicle cuck. You need a second job, and, got, and people be like, "Give me more." And like those type of guys are like shame pigs. They like being humiliated, and the more you humiliate them, the more they come back for more. Like that's their kink. They can't even get turned on unless there's oh. humiliation. Uh, they say, so online, they say things to get people to react, to dunk on them, to dunk and, on them. Like uh, that guy Noah Professor Berlansky, Krunk. yeah. Professor Crunk is a total shame pig. I was gonna do the shame pig bracket where I was gonna put like sixty four shame pigs. Oh no! Until we get to uh, so then I asked people, can you give me some names uh, so we can have a, a, a shame pig bracket? And we ended up with like one hundred and twenty names that were all good. I was like, wow, I never thought about them all in the same place. But there's a lot of like Crunk is definitely a shame pig. But I feel like with a shame pig, um they have to um, get off on it. And I'm not convinced that um, Tegan does, unless she's a really good actress. Like, Crunk acts like she doesn't like getting dunked on, but she, she's definitely into it. But so that, that's just to set the stage and answer Vita's question, because she wants to know what a shame pig was. So Q was going to now answer why he thinks that she is a shame pig. Well, here's the thing. There's like, there's, there's, a, there's a second layer to shame pigs that i think you might miss t and that's like there's there's a shame pig who just like gets off on getting dunked on like noel berlatsky i think does it just for sheer like it's almost like somebody with a foot fetish right or, or somebody like that like sniffing armpits hmm. but then there's also the shame pig who does it because it's, it's actually not the shame that they get off on it's the commiseration and sympathy that they get off on like they like people 
like coming into the mentions is like, oh, I don't know what is wrong with these people. And, oh, you know, they're just uh, projecting their jealousy. So what they're actually addicted to is the validation that they get from people after they've just been shamed, if that makes sense. So there I think, are a lot of small shame pigs today talking about their joy being taken by the timeline. Well, yeah. So, I mean, let me, let me get through Chrissy Teigen first. Is that I think, like, what's actually there for her is not so much, like, getting dunked on. It's all of her, like, fans and sycophants that come in afterwards and tell her that she actually, it's, 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 there's nothing wrong with you, like, flaunting your wealth and talking about buying a horse or making your nurse wear a plague mask so that she can, like, clean your house or any of that, you know, for Halloween. None of that. It's actually not that. What it actually is, or sorry, clean your house. Uh, I'm getting two tweets mixed up. One, one she made her nurse dress up, and another one she made her maid dress up. But anyway, like it's it's actually when she does something really like like just ridiculous and out of touch, and people make fun of her for it, and then all of her fans are just like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Like don't 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 worry about it. You didn't do anything wrong. That's what she's attached to. Uh, so like when uh, people got at her last night for taking the picture with the National Guard, that's I think what what like motivates her to do that shit like i knew i think she knew exactly what she was doing when she tweeted that picture out with a bunch of like you know men in fatigues and uh and 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 and, and uh m16s but you know unfortunately like you can't punish or reward these people all you can do is just like sit back and watch the spectacle yeah and this is kind of one of the reasons why i decided to stop uh you know dunking on professor crunk and stuff because i'm like i think she likes it on some um no publicity is bad publicity thing and this is how i knew it was really bad um i have a young cousin she's like uh 21 or something uh college but she's not into twitter she doesn't know about my twitter life or anything you know not because i hide it from her but because you know i've never you know brought it up or anything and then um she texted my, my wife with one of my tweets and she goes, yeah, my friend just um, sent me this uh, about uh, T. Duncan on Professor Crunk. And I was like, oh, my God, like, I I'm helping bring the gospel of Professor Crunk to, like, young, impressionable. I mean, even though they were laughing at her at the dunk that I did, I'm like, I don't even want their minds polluted. I'm, I'm adding to just bringing a re awareness of Professor Crunk to, um, you know, people's minds, uh, even even if it's negative uh, attention, you know? And I started realizing like, wow, she's probably really getting big because she's been on the tear since late 2000 of, um, Jason Johnson did this first. I think Jason Johnson was on a shame pig tear where, and suddenly white leftists discover him and all of a sudden white people started dunking on him all the time. He wasn't just our secret anymore. I was like, he's ours. What are you doing? And yeah. like, no, he, he belongs to the streets now. The, the white people got him. <laughs> you know? No, but Jason Jason Johnson, I think like his whole thing is like uh like showing off his intellectual chops. I don't even think it's so much shame picking. I think he he like he says something to draw uh people towards him so that he can like 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 uh jujitsu them with his uh with his galaxy mind and he fails almost every single time, right? Like he'll he'll say something, people will engage him, he'll retaliate with like you know some intellectually along with an answer and then he'll it's almost like like uh like chris farley in um beverly hills ninja if, if that makes any sense yes that's coming back on netflix next month yeah <laughs> <laughs> excites me yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like that like he thinks he's like a kung fu genius and, and meanwhile he's just he's like fucking chris farley <laughs> pulling out the nunchucks and slapping himself in the face with it his but, older like, darky stuff was borderline shame picking though i think uh when he kept trying to double down trying, on why uh bloomberg's not an older guard I think it was really just that he couldn't admit he was wrong. I think the yeah. like the one I think the one true shame pig, like the one person who just like wakes up in the morning and is just like, yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get these tweets off today, and just like you know like gets all of them like gets every fucking angry tweet like screen caps them and then just like goes into the bathroom and buzzes one out. Like Brittany Cooper <laughs> definitely does that. Yeah, she that definitely. Is, yeah. Yeah. So are these like the people who? Because I see a lot of people who like to do that shit and then play victim all the time. So Femenista fuck, Jones is one. So let's say, yeah, say some fuck yeah. shit. And then they start bragging about how, look at all these people angry at me. I just said the truth or some shit, you know? And it's yeah. like they take out some sort of a badge of honor that people are going in on the fuck shit that they just said. Is that along the same lines? I think those are more just trolls. You know, like, like oh, okay. I think they're related. I think in the Venn diagram, there's overlap and the way they overlap is both of them 
have this kind of misery and they want to make other people feel for a fraction of uh, their day as miserable as they feel all the time. So I feel like yeah, those, yeah. those women and men, because there's men too who wait for Martin Luther King Day to suddenly bring up, hey, you know, we slept with white women. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> he, 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 he. You know, those types. Like, I don't think there's so much shame pigs, but it's related and they have a persecution complex, but they mm. generally, I think, are are angry um, people. Whereas um, the shame pig also has some kind of misery going on and wants to make people um, um, feel it. But they are really into like actually getting humiliated. So it's like their tweets have like a different um, flavor, as in like they'll make a really dumb. For example, like Feminista Jones uh, saying that short women, you know, that weird insultish kind of like Feminista okay. Jones has tweets about aliens. Like things are just so stupid that the thing about pedophilia was that her? Uh, she had, she had one like that too about short. Oh if you like yeah, short, about if you like short women, dead. you're a pedophile. Yeah, you like like oh, women, yeah. it's, it's because if, if well, and I think another girl said if men like petite. If you're a petite woman and men like you, it's because you look like a child, essentially. <laughs> that was for Lisa Jones, too. But, well, that but was her. Okay. They try to make it so dumb that the backlash is really kind of cruel and dunking, whereas the Malcolm X uh, or Martin Luther King slanderer is just mean. They just want to be slanderous. Like, this is someone that people love. Nobody loves me. So it makes me mad that this person gets the respect. I don't like anybody who I can't vicariously see myself as getting any type of um, love. So I just want to tear down something beautiful. And it's like that type of thing. Uh, so they just want to just tear something down and make people angry. That makes them feel good. Whereas the shame pig has some of that, but they also want to be embarrassed. So they have to make their thing stupid, you know? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's that, and you, you guys can disagree. That's my take on it, but I'm open to you know disagreement. I, 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 I have yeah. like levels to this shit. Like, <laughs> just no, kidding. I think I mean um, uh, one of our uh, one of our people uh, who goes by Swart Gavar, uh, Black Danger on um, on Twitter. He's a, a Ghanaian dude that I guess grew up in uh, South Africa, you know, and uh, he's he's got pretty incisive like comments and takes all the time. And one of the things he said to me a while back, which I'm just like, this is 100 percent true. He's like, you know, for a lot of these people, like they just sit around like angry at their family members that at any time that they talk back can just like go and turn off their lights. So after dinner, after dinner time, it's time for another kick at the cat. And that's what they do. They just take all of their like pent up anger and frustration, their dissatisfaction in their personal lives, everything. They go find the thing that they know is going to piss people off the most and piss off a specific kind of person and then hop on Twitter and proceed to go do that thing. And I think for a lot of folks that like have any respect for their for their ancestors, for their martyrs, for their forebears, it always has to do with like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X and um, Frederick Douglass. It, there's always some sort of slander for France Fanon on the timeline. There's always some, there's always slander for like Huey P. Newton. There's even there used to be slander for a little while up until I think white people started liking him for uh, for Kwame Ture. Because I remember back around like 2013, 2014, the one thing that you would always see about Kwame Ture on the timeline, and they would never use his name Kwame Ture, they'd always say Stokely Carmichael, was that comment that he made to Snick when they were having a conversation about um, uh, you know uh, women and Snick oh, who wanted to position. have is prone yeah yeah when women were saying that you know they're they're doing uh, like, like administrative work but they actually wanted to be doing like you know uh, uh field work and uh you know when when he had the conversation with not just like with the women of snake but like with uh with, with all of snake um he made a little joke to it was like self-deprecating like it wasn't at the women of snake it was at the way that snake was functioning and and not giving like fair shrift uh to the women that want to be doing different kind of work and uh, so he says, you know, uh, the question has been asked, what is the position of women in SNCC? The position is prone. And people took that to mean that he's a sexist who does believe that women have no role except as like administrators and perhaps sexual objects, which was like, if you knew anything about Kwame Ture, you knew that he had a, like an acerbic sense of humor and the people that were at the meeting themselves were laughing about it. They said it was funny and then they were able to move on from there. So uh, all I'm going to say is that like, 
they love going after these figures because they know it bothers us so much because we look up to these types and we want to we want to be like them we like their politics like we we take inspiration from them and they sign on on a daily basis and just say ridiculous shit about them because they know that it hurts other people's feelings and they only do yeah. that because their feelings are so like frayed that's how i feel about jamel hill sometimes like when she starts going in on black men i be thinking like her husband had to piss her off or something because it should don't be making no sense it's like black men only want patriarchy. That's why they like Trump. But your mama like Trump. So Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, she, says, she says stuff like, is it me or are black men and black women just built different politically? And then someone yeah. pointed out oh, to her. Like, yeah. Isn't yeah. Isn't your mother? Uh, hold on. I just want to show something uh, real quick. I'm going to put Q's screen back on. Um, somebody put uh, this thing. I thought it was a great example of weird memes that people are making. Uh, no. We both go by daddy.